So we're here in a bathroom for today's video. We're gonna be working on organizing this bathroom, which is a small space, and we are up for the challenge. And we are specifically using iDesign products to up-level the organization in this small bathroom and these tricky spaces. Let's do it. Okay, so the first step when we organize any space is always to have an understanding of what it is that we're doing. What's the goal? What is not working in a space and what is working? So Kit took some time to chat with the owner of this bathroom this morning and have a little consultation. Kit, what did you learn? So this client um, has a lot of things that she uses often and some things that are taking up some valuable real estate that she doesn't use so often. Um, this is kind of old and expired makeup that is not regularly used. You're probably gonna get an edit and a toss. Down here is a combination of everyday essentials with some essential oils. Mm. I love that. what you did there. <laughs> All the essentials. <laughs> All the essentials. And then down here is face care, which is being used regularly. Mm -hmm. um, and then we move over here, sort of like medicine cabinet type stuff. This is hubby's very often used items. Okay. Um, he's taking it all out and putting it all back. Not super functional right now, but that's where he's keeping his stuff. And then this stuff down here, this is nail care, nail polish, and this is hair stuff. Mm. Not very used. Not this is prime real estate. Prime real estate with items that are not often used. Okay. So we're gonna move over here, and you can see that this is an older um, apartment bathroom, probably mid-1950s. I kind of love the retro tile. I love it. And I also love these things in theory, but as you can see, it's not working for the toothbrushes because they don't fit. So Modern day to... toothbrush in, a, in an old school bathroom. And we're gonna have to create a solution for that. And then this is like the actual medicine cabinet. They have sort of their, you know, health and wellness emergency care items, also prime real estate. And then these are kind of a combination of everyday essentials. And then the less often used bathroom cabinet, deep, dark, not super accessible. We're gonna see if we can up level that for them. And then into this drawer where they do have hair care and some oral care items. The next step, once we have some general sense of what our goal is, we always clear everything out of the space. And once everything's out of the bathroom, I'm gonna take the opportunity to wipe it down. That's your clean favorite it out. part. <laughs> Joni likes to wipe down the It's among the my favorite parts. <laughs> So we have all of the items that were inside the bathroom laid out here. We're gonna take this opportunity to give you a little tutorial on items that you can edit from your bathroom. So there are three basic things. Number one, items that you don't use. Second thing is items that are no longer fresh or in good condition. And the third one is items that might be duplicative that you have too many of that you could consolidate or potentially pass along to someone else in need. This client has a lot of items that she doesn't use. So she's been the recipient of some gifted samples through the years and there are some makeup items that she was given and never really took to. Right. So these kinds of items we know we're going to edit out and just pass along to someone else who could use them. It's also possible just to say no thank you when someone's offering you a free gift or a free sample if you know that you're not going to use it because it's just going to end up as clutter in your small space. That's right. Things like nail polish that have very clearly sat for a while. You can see that this one is separated. Yeah, and this Those one has are... sort of leaked out. So items we're not using, items that aren't in good condition. Um, and the third one is items that are maybe duplicative. So we found two hydrogen peroxides and they're both pretty empty. So we're gonna consolidate, rinse out, and recycle. There are a lot of items found in bathrooms, medications, beauty products that can't be disposed of in our regular trash. So it's really important to make sure that you check with your local um, facilities so that you have a safe place to dispose items. So think about where you can pass things along um, or dispose of them safely. That's a very important step in the process as well. Agree. So let's start going through and doing all three of those steps right now. Okay. And see what we end up with. All right, let's see what's gonna be left. Okay. 
We did the edit and we discarded items that our client is no longer wanting or needing. And now we are left with this towel filled with things that she is wanting and needing. So Kit, can you talk about the categories we created? Yeah, so you can do this at home. You've done the edit and then you can think through your own process in using your items when you're getting ready in the morning and what categories make sense to you. So let's go through the categories that we created. We have grouped all of the hair care products and then we have sort of hubby's everyday essentials, the things he's using on the daily. Here we have face care, moving into nail care, oral care. Mm, the essential oils, <laughs> they're essential. Deodorants, we have makeup, really a great edit happened here. Sunscreen, sewing, we might relocate yes. sewing to a different part of the house, that's to be determined. And um, first aid. And then behind us, we've got some items that are probably gonna be relocated out of the bathroom. We have, what do you call this? Fashion tape is what I call that. Fashion tape. So this will probably be kept in the undergarments drawer. Some perfumes that might make a little bit more sense um, in the bedroom on top of a dresser or where you're getting dressed. A little bit of a vanity moment. Yeah. And then some travel items. So we're gonna create a special zone for travel toiletries. And behind me are some items that are expired that our client would like to repurchase. So we created a practically perfect shopping list for her. So the next step is going to get your product to contain all these items to put into your bathroom. iDesign has very generously provided us with a lot of really amazing products from their bathroom line. And so we get the benefit of using all of those. We did some measuring in advance so we right. knew what we were getting was gonna work and fit. Make sure you're taking really good measurements. Take that list with you, go shopping with it, get things that you think are gonna work, Buy a few extras just in case because sometimes things don't always work out the way that you think that they're going to. That's right. And you can always return them when you're done. And now Kit is the queen of measuring. So I, if I measure something, it's always just a little bit off. In this bathroom, the shelves are adjustable. So that wasn't really a measurement that I was too concerned with. Mostly width and depth of the cabinets. Okay. So let's start installing some of our product. It's the best part. It is. <laughs> We categorized, we selected what we believe to be products from iDesign that will be practically perfect for this couple. And you saw some of our reenactments. Re <laughs> so we took all of the belongings of this client and her husband and placed them in the awesome products from iDesign. Mm -hmm. When you are doing this at home, just know that you're gonna have to really think through your own process, trial and error, see what works best. Let's show you what we did and why. This side now belongs to her. So there's nail care and deodorant, and this is all items for um, face care. We removed a couple of shelves mm. from this medicine cabinet, mm -hmm. and that is something that people don't always realize they can do. They can either adjust the shelves or take them out completely to make more space for their belongings. So this shelf is where our client and her hubby have shared products that they both use. And then we move down here and put all of his everyday essentials in one spot so he can easily grab them and get what he needs when he's getting ready in the morning. Super functional, super easy, and I think it looks good. Now this one is primarily devoted to oral health.
Really, we put all of the items that the couple would grab morning and night for their routine, including the essential oils, which really weren't in a place that was easily accessible. And so the couple really wants to be using these more at bedtime, and this will give them um, a little reminder because they'll see them right in their eyesight here. And again, we adjusted the height of the shelves here so that they could grab their toothbrushes out without hitting the top of the shelf. Let's check out what we did under the sink. Oh, it's exciting. Under the sink, we used a lidded container for first aid. So this is great because they can just grab it out and take good care of themselves. And then we have a pantry bin for some sunscreens and aloes and makeup remover that isn't used very often. And additionally, we have a turntable for all of the cleaning products. So it's really easy to just grab whatever it is you're looking for. Okay, and the hair cabinet, love this one. So here are all the drawers that you saw us assemble with hair bands and bobby pins and clips and some hair products are above and we actually used a guest towel tray here. It was just the perfect size. She can pull these out and take them up to the counter or anywhere she wants to take to style her hair. And last but not least, the hair brushes right here by the hair station. Practically perfect. So you might notice that there's some extra space left over in the bathroom, which we think is great because our clients were able to edit out things they weren't using. And also this way they have a little more room for things that they might buy or accumulate over time. But additionally, they're learning to live with less and have just exactly the right amount of things that they need. And thank you to iDesign for supplying all the products for this small space transformation featuring the bathroom. We will have a list of all the products that we used in this specific bathroom down below and you can check out all of the awesome things that iDesign has available on their website. That's right, and stay tuned because this was the first of four videos that we're doing in collaboration with iDesign to show you how to organize smaller spaces using their products. Thanks for joining, and remember, if it's practical for you, it's perfect for you. It works. I feel like you want to shimmy. I do. My kid always wants to do this, so I just play along.